a faithful God. He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. Ah, good morning. Good morning to you all. The 29th day of December, year 2020. The last Tuesday of the year. Glory be to God in the highest. Good morning to everyone. The program is Jitayo's World, fully sponsored by Jitayo Music Production, North Carolina, USA. Hi, on behalf of Jitayo's team, we say Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year to every one of us. <sighs> if the Lord had not been on our side, let this stress say, if the Lord had not been on our side, when men attacked us, when their anger fled against us, they would have swallowed us alive. The flood would have engulfed us. The torrent would have swept over us. The raging waters would have swept us away. Praise be to the Lord, who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird out of the fowler's snare. The snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the Lord, is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and the earth. Ah, glory be to God in the highest. We thank God. We thank God for our fires at us through the year, year 2020. We sincerely appreciate all our fans all over the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Part of the fame, 101.1 megahertz. We appreciate every one of you. Ah, our Baba, Otsumba Christopher, Debayo Alawakala, Eshiungon. From Jitayo's world, we say Happy New Year in advance, sir. Our Mama, Mrs. Oluwa Kemi Alawakala, we say thank you, ma. All management and staff of Parrot FM 101.1 okay baby boom sure from the CEO Jitayo Music Production North Carolina USA Olu Akande we sincerely appreciate you all the program is Jitayo's world I am Dele oh God allow you hand command good morning blessed be the Lord my rock and my strength who cheated my hands to work? Ah, now to the first segment of the program. This is my story. My name is Samuel Medley. I was born in Cheshunt, England. In 1738, my father was a school proprietor who gave me a good education. Then he apprenticed me so that I could learn a business. I did not like the work, so I joined the Royal Navy. British ships were patrolling the shores of West Africa in an attempt to establish colonies there. When I was 21 years old, my ship engaged the French fleet near the port of Lagos and I was severely wounded. I had to retire from active service in the Navy. While I was recovering from my wounds, someone read one of Dr. Isaac Watts' sermon to me, and I was converted. I joined a Baptist church in London. To earn my living, I opened a school that was very successful. I began to preach, at times, for various pastors. When I was 29 years old, I received a call to become pastor of the Baptist church in Watford. Five years later, I was called as pastor of Birum Street Baptist Church in Liverpool. The congregation grew so large that a new building was needed. How we all rejoiced. My hymns were first printed in leaflets or in magazines. My first hymn, published in 1785, had 42 hymns. And a second edition was published that same year. I eventually published five hymn books containing more than 100 of my hymns. Near the end of my life, I had a long and painful illness. But because my people loved me and was popular and useful, I passed on to the Lord took me home in 1799 at the age of 61. Let me sing a stanza for you from one of my hymns. I will sing the stanza from I Know That My Redeemer Lives. Is my story. 
And that was um, the story of Pastor Samuel Medley, born June 23, 1738. Despite his long and painful illness, he stands for Christ. God is whispering to someone this morning, that stands for me. Stand for me, be useful for me, make yourself available for me. Will you hearken to that voice today? Take a step this morning to be ready for Christ always. This is my story. Ah, Jesus' world, a word of music. Let us now sit back to enjoy the music of the day for today. May we be richly blessed as we listen. Hey! Let your power flow, let your healing come down. We are here for you, Lord. Manifest yourself. We don't want to be seen. For to see your glory, Baba, we are here for you. Manifest yourself. Hey, Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. You're going to do this for us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hmm? If you have not subscribed, go and subscribe now. Hmm? Subscribe to our YouTube channel to enjoy more of God in us. At Olu Akande. Search for Olu Akande on YouTube. Then you click on subscribe. The button. Hmm, the button. Let's be friends together on Facebook. Follow Olu Akande on Instagram and Twitter. And you can chat him up on WhatsApp. He's your guy at top for Jita Music Production based in America. So, chat him up on plus one, two, three, one, six, two, oh, four, two, oh, eight. Plus one, two, three, one, six, two, oh, four, two, oh, eight. Okay, let us listen to the word for the week. Um, that is Oil of Gladness Part 2 from the CEO, Jita Music Production, North Carolina, USA. Good morning, my name is Olua Kande from Jitaya Music. This is another beautiful day. It's a day of joy. And I see God taking you to places in the mighty name of Jesus. Last week, we started with Oil of Gladness Part 1. Today, we're going to be talking about Oil of Gladness Part 2. And we established that God will never leave us. He's the only faithful friend. John chapter 14, verse 18. The Bible says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. When he says it, he will do it. What he says, he will do. When feeling depressed, go deep into the presence of God. Because the book of Psalm chapter 16 verse 11 says, That will show me the path of life. 
in thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand are player forevermore. Isaiah 61 verse 3 promise us the garment of praise will replace the spirit of enviness. Praises, worship, thanking God, be thankful. Thanking God for his grace in our life is very important. I pray this morning that God in his infinite mercy we give you beautiful ashes and we anoint you with a fresh anointing. Every sadness in your life, every sorrow will disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. He is going to replace every spirit of heaviness with a garment of praise in the mighty name of Jesus. The presence of God is your place of abode. Abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. You cannot be engulfed in the presence of God and not feel His love and care for you. Let your heart not be troubled. Believe in Him. Believe in His word. I pray this morning that your place is secure in that business. In your study, you shall be the head and not the tail. In the area of your expectation, there shall be restoration. Everything God has promised, everything God has revealed shall come to pass. He's going to stand up for you. He's going to fight your battle for you. The Lord shall restore you bountifully. Safety is of the Lord. He shall keep you safe under his shadow, under his power, under his hand. There shall be no sadness anymore in our life, no sorrow anymore in our life. We shall experience the joy unspeakable. That love you feel will bring joy to your soul. <laughs> that love will bring joy to your soul. And everything you lay your hands upon shall prosper. It says what ears has not heard about, what eyes has not seen is what is planning for our life. Is going to make way in the wilderness. Why can't you believe him today? Stand up and hold him by his word and say, God, I believe. I believe your word. Safety is of the Lord. He shall keep you safe. He shall keep your family safe. He shall not cry over any member of your family. The Lord will enrich your health and meet your financial, emotion, and spiritual need in Jesus' name. Step up with faith as this year is going to an end. Step up with the oil of gladness on your head and say, God, I surrender it all. I give it to you. I give you everything. I surrender it all. Take control of my life. Take full ownership of my life. I have nothing to hide. Tell God. Be open to God. Say, God, I expose every power of sin. Take them away from my life. Let me be fulfilling in the, in the location where you have created me where you've planned for me. Let me be operating under that anointing. Wherever those goodness, every cardinal point of this world, wherever they are, right now, let them find me in the mighty name of Jesus. Believe as you're claiming his word. Believe, have faith in him, have faith in God, and he will do it, he will lift you up. Put the joy of the Lord in your face. Let the joy of the Lord from your heart express the feeling in your face. Make that joy be impactful to others. Some people see you smiling and that can be infectful and that can bring them happiness that despite all that is happening, despite that all that's happened this year, I'm still happy. Despite the COVID, I'm still happy. Let the joy of the Lord fill your heart. Release your soul to the Lord. Say, God, I surrender everything. Safety is of the Lord and the whole of gladness will continue to flow in your life in Jesus' name. You shall not have any means to sorrow, no means of sorrow. No sorrow in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will see you next week. Keep the motivation high. There shall be testimony overload in your life. And I will see you. Stay safe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. We are going to meet next week by the grace of God. And that is next year, year 2021, for that refreshing episode of the program, Jesus World. Adupe, Tolo Mua, Bari 2020, Layo. Ah, ninu ofi ninu ola ama pandora wa dagba eh wa lati damo je tene ko kan wa ogun ni folon loki orun glory be to god and so we are going to meet next week by the grace of god that is next year i am dele ogun tola yohan command till next week happy new year in advance stay blessed oh yeah we are you i to paradise manifest